Ted TV. We are going to do an installation of a Pertronics SBDA distributor on a Type 4 motor. A little different than a Type 1, so you've got to pay attention. We've got the Type 1 video out there. Um, you might have seen it already. It's, there's some great stuff in there, but we want to cover some stuff that's Type 4 specific today. So pay attention and come on over. Let's get this thing done. All right. Let me grab my little stick. Right, get in your way. Hang on a second. Okay, there we go. Type 4 motor. This is your Type 4 motor. Uh, we've got the distributor cap off of this one already. You can see it kind of down there. We've got Caddyshack carburetors on here already. Um, you'll see right now. Um, let's go over to the pasture side carburetor. We have the vacuum hose on the carburetor here. You can see it right there. Okay. We run the vacuum to the passenger side on the Type 4 motors just because the fitting points the correct direction. The carburetor, you'll notice the linkage is toward the firewall on the Type 4 motors, whereas it's on the opposite side on a Type 1 motor. So it's a little different, a little different animal, same kind of beast. Today, what we're going to do, we're going to change this distributor out. This is the stock dual vacuum distributor that comes on the Type 4 motors. Great distributor for these, but um, you know, sometimes these things wear out, they're no longer available. And actually, the, we found the Petronix one works better in a lot of instances than the stock ones do. We'll have to show you some of that. Anyway, got the cap on, we've taken the clips off, take the cap off. I want you to notice something here. Well, first of all, I want you to notice this. Um, the stock Type 4 distributors have a strange looking rotor there maybe you haven't seen that before that is a rev limiting rotor they are available for a lot of different models of distributors for the 009s or even for the SVDAs this this rotor will prevent you from over revving the engine it actually grounds out uh, but you'll see the little terminal here okay this is where it points to on number one what we've done is we've rotated the crankshaft and I don't know if we can get in there in the light and see but there's a little notch that's filed right here on that distributor to show you that it's pointed toward number one. I don't know if you can see it or not. Probably can't see it. Should have probably got a light over here. We can show you on the other distributor. But you want to be aware of that notch. Before you even start this thing, start the installation, you want to rotate that crankshaft over so this is pointing toward a notch. You know you're a top dead center. You'll notice when you put the cap on this thing, Well, that this is the number one wire. So it's pointed towards number one, that goes off there. So keep your eye on that, okay? Uh, really super important. So uh, if you have a 009 in your Type 4 motor, chances are this distributor is still gonna be pointed toward the notch, but the notch may be over here. It may be at a different spot altogether. So. The important thing is that you line that notch up with the rotor before you start anything so you know what wires go where this may change as you'll see so let's bring this thing back real quick and we're going to get the ratchet and we're going to pull this distributor out let me show you real quick on this one since we've got a little bit of light in here okay this is the notch i'm talking about okay this is in the protonics distributor if we rotate the rotor over, it is pointed toward that notch now, okay? And the reason I've got a file here is we may need to file a new notch because this vacuum can, if we were to put that in the distributor where it is, let's bring it down here actually, okay? And we were to point that thing in the right, same motor road direction, we're not going to be able to get this vacuum can in where that one is. So we're going to have to turn the distributor over and this is going to change where that notch is going to need to be which is going to be where the wires are or you can change the wires and just put them where the notch the new notch is depends on what you want to do i like to do it the other way so the the wires go the right direction da, 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 da. so we'll label the cap we'll file a new notch and uh, we'll go from there so let's get this whole distributor out we'll get the new one in okay so that thing is installed in there we've got a cinch down real quick let's show you the distributor what we got going on what I've done here I've rotated the vacuum can here around just so I can get to the bolt can you see the bolt in there to install that the clamp okay 
What I've also done is I filed a notch right here and I marked it with black pen, black Sharpie real quick. But you see that notch I filed right there? That's gonna be where the new distributor is gonna to be top dead center number one. So in order to get this over, set that down. All we're gonna need to do is turn this dude over until our rotor lines up about with number one and then we'll tighten this thing up. And, uh, you know, it should be pretty close, good enough to at least start, you know, get it about where it needs to be. Then we can throw a timing light on that thing, okay? Then we'll put all these wires back on the cap and go from there. Getting there, a little bit at a time, but that's the trick right there. File that new notch. Uh, it may change location. Look, the old notch is back here. See it? See it? Cool. What we'll end up doing on this, is we'll put this distributor Okay, the shooter is going to sit, the cap's going to sit on like that. So what we'll do for the next future guy working on this, where's my pen, right here somewhere, is we'll put little number one. Okay, so that way the next guy knows that that's number one when it goes on there. Okay, number one. Anyway, we'll put it on, put it all together, get it ready to go. Got to put the dust cap on first though. Get the little clamps. And of course we've got a wire, the distributor. Uh, just so you know, there's two wires in here. We'll have to get them. This one, there's two wires, red wire and a black wire. Okay, we'll put, we'll shorten these. We'll get them over to the coil. The red one goes on the positive, the black one goes on the negative of the coil. If you reverse this, it's gonna screw things up and it ain't gonna run. Red, positive, black, negative. Okay, got it? Okay, we'll come back to you as soon as we got this thing kind of wrapped up a little bit more. We'll show you how to tighten it. All right guys, here we are right now. Uh, we started the motor, it's idling. So we gotta time this thing. Uh, you'll notice we got the vacuum pulled off of the distributor right now, okay? There's no vacuum here at idle on these cars when they're done right. If they're done wrong, there's a vacuum there. You gotta call us, but we didn't do it. Um, I just use a little piece I got in my toolbox to plug the vacuum hose. Actually, I've used a pen before. Whatever's handy, we plug that little vacuum hose off, okay? Let it sit up there. It's fine. Type 4 motors are a little different animal, you know? For whatever reason, they like a little more timing. Maybe it's a short, the, short stro the short stroke on the thing. Maybe the rod ratio on them. But we found that they like timing. They like a little bit of timing. They're not like the Type 1. I would say we'll probably start this around 35 degrees. It may want a little more timing. Some guys, you know, we got old George down the street. He's been doing this since the 60s. He likes to put them about 36 to 38. I like to be conservative with them. Let's see how they run. We want as little time as we can to have them run right, be responsive, and not overheat, not ping. So we're gonna try to time it at 38. Total advance, total advance, not at idle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set that timing light on there. You'll see the little notch. We're going to rev this thing. We're about 28 degrees right now. Let's turn this thing up a little bit. Looks like that thing wants about 35, it's right in there, should be okay. We're gonna take our thing loose here. We're gonna plug, oh, we'll take this off too, when we're done. We're gonna plug that into our vacuum connection. And we're gonna cinch down the distributor and we're gonna drive this thing. And it should be fine, it should be really good, dude. So, um, you may want 32, 35, 38. Every motor's different. Every motor's different. I think the Type 4 need to be around 35, 36, right in there. So that's kind of where we put that. We'll drive it, see what happens. That should help you a lot. A lot. We should be pretty good. This Type 4 is not that hard. We're going to get on another episode 
on the things we had to do to remove all the smog pump and the automatic transmission, this is a tough installation for a Type 4. We've got another Caddyshack Tech TV episode that's going to cover all that. Right now, though, I'm going to go drive this dang thing. It's going to be cool.